Hey everyone, welcome to this video. If you have ever wondered how to add some kind of background video to your app, this is the video for you. Now, given this channel is mostly about mobile application development, that's what we're going to be working on, and or the example will be that. But really, the um, uh, the method is still the same regardless of what um, orientation the screen is. So you would just need to find perhaps a, a more landscape oriented video versus a portrait oriented video and uh, really everything else is going to be about the same. So by the end of this video we're going to set up uh, a background video using a plugin in Bubble. Let's dive in and get started. So over here on our Bubble dashboard you'll want to navigate on your left hand side to the plugins area where you can go ahead and click the add plugins and for the purpose of this video I actually already have an app set up and I have some ideas of how I would like to integrate this background video. So let's go ahead and search for background video. Uh, let's see, that's a paid one, a legit option, although I'd like to make this one free uh, for anyone that would like to use that. Um, so we're going to go with this video cover background and it is free as of the recording of this video. I'm going to hit install and click done. So. One of the uh, great things about free plugins is they are free. One of the great things about the ones you pay for is that, um, you know, it, this <laughs> the video for this plugin it might not be there because uh, it's free. It's not it's not supported. But when things are paid for, um, there's possibilities for support. Uh, that is a side tangent. But so enough of that. One thing to say here is that with this with we typically uh, work on the mobile apps that. Uh, uh, are taught here at No Code Academy on a 320 canvas. However, we're going to expand that because da -da, on over here on your left hand side, the visual element for this video background, plotting plopping it onto the page, we can see that it is um, you know actually bigger than the canvas. And one thing that I'd like to do, so we'll just expand this to 700, center that horizontally, and then we're going to drop a group around it. Put that group at let's say 640. That six, these, these dimensions aren't super important, but 640 is basically, I'll send that to back, double of, let's center that horizontally. Okay, and then why not just bring that up to zero, and again, make sure to send to back. As we work on this thing, um, if it floats up to the front, sometimes like buttons and things, other UI elements won't actually work. Okay, so now we're going to go back to this main panel, and we're going to bring it back down to 320 and then we're going to center this horizontally and then we can see that that has a negative x value and why are we doing that well basically we wanted to be, because of fact number 1 this this little um, element of the of the plugin itself is bigger than our our page um, but it also does not have a collapse element height when hidden and because of when we're working with mobile apps and we are dealing with just one screen and a lot of showing and hiding and displaying things based upon um, uh, certain conditions, such as we've navigated to this page, for example. So uh, I'm going to call this group uh, video background. Now, a word about this. So when you are designing this for yours, the size of this is not actually has anything to do really with anything. When this is on the page, the entire page is taken up by this. And but however, um, you'll have to work on the user interface for how you want to incorporate this but here are basically the principles for setting all this stuff up so what I want to do or what I did is I went over to pexels.com and I just did a search for loop uh, sky just so I could get some some loop videos and then I went with a vertical orientation you could also you know do a search for one that's more horizontal perhaps if you're looking for something uh, slightly different like yeah, that one looks really nice and so on uh, but for the purpose of this video I've already downloaded this sky video so that's what we'll be working with okay over here then what I would like to do if we take a look at our our app so I don't have anything uploaded here so nothing really uh, will be showing but basically when someone clicks on for example this page uh, maybe that that's where I want to show it Okay, so what I'm going to be showing here is, is an example within this particular app, but however, within your app, you can just decide what, if you want it to show on the home page, great. Uh, but so then maybe you want to add some conditional that when, uh, for example, maybe you have a group that's called your group home. So when that group home isn't visible, then, whoops, that's not the condition, then this element is not visible. Or uh, you could have it 
not visible on page load, I actually recommend that. And then when your group home is visible, then show this. I'm just giving examples of conditionals that you might want to set up depending on how your user interface is. Enough examples, let's get to the particulars of this video. How will I set it up here? Well, um, in this video, which is this whole app is also built on our YouTube channel. If you navigate, if, if you're familiar with that app, or if you're not, uh, have a, feel, feel free to check it out. But basically what we're, we have going here is that our navigation structure changes a U, URL uh, parameter to something different. And based upon that, we hide and show things. So I am going to just copy this whole conditional formatting for this class preview page. And then back over on our group video background, I'll go ahead and paste that conditional formatting there. So this group video background, I don't want it to be showing. And I do want it to be collapsed. So basically, uh, we've got some good stuff going. Now let's talk about this opacity. I'm going to put it up at one so that we see basically uh, this whole video, right? If, if we had the opacity turned down to like 0.1, for example, you would see only a little bit of the video, which is which might be something that you would want if you're going to have things uh, overlaid on it. Uh, but I'll, I'll leave the design up to you. Okay, so now actually let's go and let's add one of these. So I've got this one downloaded here for the video. And then also for the For the static file, what you can do is just take a screenshot. And I realize this whole thing might not be in the frame of what is seen, but what I've done is I've just taken a screenshot here. And um, what I'm going to do is upload that screenshot from my desktop. Oh, I don't think it's saved. It put it here, save image. Um, okay, call it good. Okay, maybe that wasn't. All right, uh, anyways, basically I think that this poster will, if, if the video file is having issues for some reason, it will display that as the background. So what we should see here and what we anticipate is that when we click on one of these, Ah, yes. Okay. So the final thing to make sure of is that I'm going to grab this conditional. Again, I copy the conditional formatting. If there is a group or a, so in our case, in this particular app, it might not be the case in yours, the mobile, uh, like when you first create a page, the main panel that is there, if it has a flat color associated with it, that's going to overlay on top of the video, and you'll note in this plugin documentation, make sure that your main page background style is set to none. Um, that's true, or this is also true that I'll show. I'm going to paste this conditional formatting, which just says, all right, here's the page I want to show this on, uh, this class preview page. I want to show the background video. So when that's the case, well, it, it gives me some of the um, settings for this panel to, to change. So I'm going to change the opacity all the way down to zero. So that way... Um, this this dark background is no longer visible. So now what I'm going to do is refresh this and then what we would anticipate to see is that video. And note that this video does automatically, it's because it's free and I kind of had that, you know, uh, snarky comment at the be beginning around how when things are free, um, it's great. <laughs> but what's also great when things are paid is that they're taken care of more. So for example, this one, is, it does not, um, does not have a way to turn off any type of sound. So you would have, might have to go to like a site like this one and just do like a mute on, on a video and then upload whatever video you're deciding and then download it. And so, but all of that being said, let's get our final reveal for the end of this video where we can see that over here, uh, let's see, do we have a, okay, we need this one to be visible on page load. And then this one is not visible on page load, but it is visible when we click into that class preview. Okay, so from here, when we click into class preview, we can see, boom, there is a nice background video. And just note that it is always gonna take up the full screen uh, regardless of how it's set up. So uh, there you have it. Any questions, drop it in the comments and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.